Alright, what's going on you guys? I have uh, another video here for you. And uh, in this video I'm actually going to be going over some of the best or some of the top uh, Cydia tweaks that are out right now. And uh, this is going to be volume three, uh, volume 3. And I do have other volumes as well, volume 1 and 2, um, which I will put a link to those videos in the description. And I'll also send up some uh, pop-ups which you should be seeing about now. Um, I have about 10 of these, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first one I want to talk about is called Action Menu. Um, if we go ahead and let's go into um, let's go into Notes here, and uh, let's see if we can let's go up here. Which um, what I did is I actually just copied a uh, just to make it easier to do this. I copied a normal article from uh, just Apple.com just to you know do this uh, quick uh, demonstration. Um, which this is going to be covering Action Menu, the Action Menu Plus, and also um, Action Menu Voice Plugin. I'm just going to cover all those just as one singular app because they do all work together. Um, with uh, Action Menu, if you just hold on one of these apps right here, and let's get it to um, hit Select, uh, you get these few options down here which uh, you can go ahead and paste, copy all normally, but you have this other one right here at the end. If you hit that, um, you get a whole other uh, bunch of choices here. Um, you can actually look up, you can tweet it, um, you can do the voice thing I'm talking about, um, the history, all these different options are uh, with Action Menu. For example, uh, let's go ahead and uh, hold on this iCloud, let's hit Select, and uh, we can go ahead and hit this end part right there, and let's uh, go down here to Look Up, and let's just do a search which uh, all it does is it just does a Google search inside the app and um, that's it and you can look up you can do that with just Google uh, dictionary Wikipedia whatever you want to close that you just hit cancel um, the next thing I want to talk about is um, it's the voice plugin for example if we go um, let's go ahead and hit this and let's hit select and let's drag this all the way down here and what it does, if you want to basically have an article read to you, you know, you don't want to sit there and read it if you have your headphones in or whatever, you can highlight an article and this tweak will read that whole article back to you. And uh, you can set, you can customize how fast you want them to read it, um, what, t what uh, tone of the voice, everything. And you do that going into the settings uh, uh, application. All we do is hit this little um, that uh, icon there at the end and we hit voice. The apps you use every day are ready for iCloud. When you update your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch 2 iOS 5, your favorite Apple apps become seamlessly integrated with iCloud, just like that. So all your content and information is available and up to date, no matter which device you are using. And that's it. That is the voice plugin, and I think it's a pretty awesome uh, tweak there uh, with Action Menu. Um, that's it, you guys. That's it for the first one. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is called um, Iconoclasm. Uh, let's go ahead and go to um, settings real quick and uh, let's go down if it'll load up here let's go down to iconoclasm uh, what this does is it just ha lets you have custom layouts for your uh, springboard you can do um, 5x5 um, 5 com springboard which is the 5x4 and uh, all you do is it's so easy you don't have to go through actually setting this up um, you just um, hit which one you want and hit uh, apply changes and respring um, I don't have that many of the layouts installed which you can go into city and install a pack which includes a whole bunch more you can even have like each one of your springboard pages be just a letter if you want to have like a T going on every single page you can do that with iconoclasm and it's really easy um, that's it for that one, which uh, the next one I want to talk about is called Auto Close Folder. Um, if you go, let's say we have a folder down here, and uh, this is pretty easy. When you open a folder, and um, which actually let's go to this one, open a folder, and you open a um, app inside that folder, when you leave the app, it just automatically closes the folder for you. Um, normally, if you would open a folder and then leave the app, it would look like this with the folder still open. So I like Auto Close Folder because it just leaves, um, it just skips a step for you. Um, the next one we have here is called um, Home Page in Safari. If uh, we go to Safari here, 
and um, let's go ahead and let's go to a different website let's go to um, Yahoo if I can learn how to type Yahoo uh, yahoo.com and uh, all you do to set and you can set any web page you want as your home screen you this little arrow down there you just hit that and uh, you hit set as home and that's it if we were to close this and uh, let's go ahead and make sure that Safari is closed um, which is right there um, now all we need to do is just go back to Safari and as you see it will just open up it automatically goes to Yahoo and uh, that is now your home page set for Safari um, and that's it you guys that's called a home page in Safari um, the next one we have is called um, uh, spring to mice which uh, this city of tweak actually covers a whole lot you can customize so much um, if you go into settings let's go back here down to um, spring to mice um, as you see you can customize all these different things you can go into general um, disable screen flash, disable spotlight, um, hide page dots, uh, you can go to capabilities, you can turn on and off all these things, multitasking, voice control, um, the front facing camera, battery percentage, uh, you can turn off and on all these different functionalities in just this one application. Um, we can go into um, icons here and uh, you can change all these different things I mean I don't even have enough time just to show you guys everything which you can do but uh, one of the things I did want to press on if you go into app switcher um, you have a tweak in here to where you can hide the inactive apps so if the app isn't actually running then it will not show up in your multitasking um, as you see these are the um, apps I actually have running and there's no more down there because they're not running and it's not going to show if they're just in the background as a previous opened app and uh, that's called spring to mice and you guys need to check it out because I didn't even cover half of what that tweak can do um, the next thing we have is a voice activator um, what that does is it allows you to set um, customize activations um, with your voice for example all you gotta do is speak um, you know a voice that you want opened um, with voice control and it will open that app um, for example if we hold down um, the home button Cydia and just like that it opens Cydia um, it works that great and uh, let's go ahead and back out here and let's do one more settings and there we are into settings um, it's pretty easy to actually set that up too if you go over here to voice activator um, all you gotta do is hit add command you type in whatever the name or whatever whatever you want to say I mean, you can say pink 22 and have it open any app you want to um, and you just hit action you hit this activator to open an app and um, and then you just configure that way and whatever you want to do um, it's pretty cool and uh, again that's called voice activator you guys should check it out um, the next one we have here is called full charge alert which I can't really show you guys this because uh, my phone is not currently plugged up and uh, I don't think you want to wait till I get a hundred percent but uh, if you, what it does is it basically when your phone um, reaches full charge you'll get a little pop up that says that your phone is recharged or um, um, fully recharged and you just need to unplug it. Um, it is fully customizable if you go um, into um, settings here let's go down full charge alert uh, you can actually set it to vibrate um, display the display that comes up and the sound you can have whatever sound you want to playing all these right there and um, I think it's a pretty awesome tweak and it's called full charge alert um, the next one we have here is called um, in spell which uh, what this tweak does is it allows you to have a customized dictionary um, for ever you want to say um, for example if we go into settings here 
and let's go down to Inspell, which when you install Inspell, it actually installs Hunspell, which um, it is a um, basically just the dictionary, uh, English dictionary, and you can set different um, uh, languages as well. Um, what you need to do is you you know you have this enabled. You go down here to Auto Correction. All these down here, as you see. If I type in any one of these just, you know, short, I guess, abbreviations, whatever you call it, it's just going to come, you know, it's going to automatically change it to whatever is on the right. Um, it basically skips a step for you. For example, I made this one right here, uh, WWJB or Why We, jail, uh, why we Jailbreak. Um, basically, if I wanted to enter my email address quickly, all I have to do is type WWJB and it'll enter that for me. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go into messages here. Um, let's start a new one real quick. And if I type WWJB, as you see, it just pops up right there. And uh, that's it. I mean, it, it's an amazing tweak, and you can customize whatever, you know, dictionary, whatever slang you want to. And uh, again, that tweak is called InSpell. Um, the next one we have down here is called um, App Quit which, um, forgive me, I'm having kind of a sore throat issue here. Um, this tweak is called, uh, like I said, App Quit. And uh, what it does, it's an activator to where you can um, set any activation that you want that will automatically quit all of your apps. Um, basically, what I have this, if I'm on my springboard, and I have right now, I have all these apps open. If I'm on my springboard, all I need to do is pinch... I just do a pinch like this, quit all applications, and as you see, all of them just went nowhere. I mean, they just closed for me. I do not have to go through. Um, I don't have to go through all my applications. As you see, there's no more backgrounded. I don't have to go through and just start closing them all. I just pinch like that, and it's going to quit all my applications. Um, which you can set any activation that you want to do that. That I thought that one just worked best for me. And again, you guys, that's called App Quit. Uh, the last one we have here, you guys, is called Random Ring. Which, Random Ring, just it's pretty simple. All the ringtones on your phone, you can set them to where they ring randomly. Because, um, I, I mean, I, I really don't like having one ringtone set and then that one ringtone is set for weeks and then changing them. I want to have like 5, 10, 20 different ringtones and I will just want them to have, just I just want them to ring randomly. Um, which I've tried so many different applications that do this um, same feature. Which, uh, let's go over here random ring. Um, most of them have you respring after you change the ringtones, but this this tweak does not. All you need to do is just, you know, you pick out whatever ringtones that you want and just start clicking them and you just hit save. Go into settings just to make sure it is turned on and you just hit save and that's it. Save successful. You don't have to do anything else and now that's it all your ringtones are just gonna ring as randomly as you want them. Um, I think that's one of the you know best ringtone apps out there and again it's called Random Ring you guys should check it out. Um, that's it for this video you guys um, I think that was about 10 of them so uh, please you guys rate, comment, subscribe, make sure you check out the other versions uh, 1 and 2 and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.